the superstition which said it could have all gone wrong for Queen Elizabeth's reign. The Queen's coronation day marked the momentous moment Princess Elizabeth became the nation's head of state, but it would also pave the way for how successful the 27-year-old would be during her reign. A long-standing superstition in the history of the English coronation meant Elizabeth was determined to avoid any mishaps on June 2, 1953 because it would have been viewed as an ill omen. Elizabeth II took the nation's weight on her shoulders when she was crowned Queen of the Country in a marvellous ceremony at London's Westminster Abbey. And the occasion was seen as even more momentous, and daunting, because it was the first to be screened live on television for millions to see. In a candid interview, filmed for BBC documentary The Coronation, the Queen spoke with royal expert Alistair Bruce for the very first time about her memories of that day. The man behind the astonishing film, award-winning television producer Anthony Jeffen told how the Queen was determined for the day to go without a hitch. He told the Times 2 Arts, she was just 27 when she was crowned and there is a strong tradition in the history of the English coronation that anything goes wrong it is seen as an ill omen. Imagine what it must have been like having given permission to allow the film cameras to cover live every element of it. And also imagine the prospect of having a five pounds down of gold designed for somebody who was wearing a huge wig, that being Charles II, placed on your 27-year-old head. It was the moment during filming when the Queen tried on the St. Edward's crown, intrigued to see whether it was still as heavy as the day she last wore it, that Mr. Jeffen says he saw a 27-year-old Princess Elizabeth. Mr. Jeffen said, when she leant forward and tapped the crown and lifted it up and said gosh, this is as heavy as it always was, I think what is going on there is she is remembering that profound moment of challenge to her when she had to absolutely hold it together for the nation. When you watch the crown Claire Foy does an amazing job playing the queen, but I think this film is the real human story. You could see her being taken back to the 27-year-old. That's pretty powerful. You can get writers on the crown, but this is the true stuff. Mr. Jeffine also told how difficult it was to get the Queen to agree to talk on camera after 22 whole years of planning. But it was her relationship with Mr. Bruce, who interviewed her at Buckingham Palace, and love for David Attenborough that is said to have swayed her. Mr. Jeffen made the film in which President Barack Obama interviewed Mr. Attenborough at the White House. He said, it's remarkable she did it because she doesn't have to do anything she doesn't want to now and it took a long time to get it to happen. She is the longest serving monarch and I think she realized that should shed some light on what the coronation and crown jewels mean. For her to talk about it is pretty significant and I think in doing so she has humanized herself in a really nice way. In the very rare and personal account of her coronation, the Queen speaks candidly about the grand occasion revealing information about the crown jewels, wardrobe mishaps, and a horrible journey in a golden carriage.